YouTube, it's Lily, and today makes my second full day back at home after surgery. I had successfully my lap band removed and converted to a gastric bypass on Tuesday, March 27th, 2012. My starting weight that day after the two-week pre-op shrink the liver diet was 240 pounds even. Yesterday, um, after coming home from the hospital and having my first full day, I just hopped on the scale and I was 244 pounds even. So I knew that there was no possible way I could have gained the weight and I knew that it was from all of the um, swelling from the surgery, from all the fluids that they were giving me. I even had a nurse at one point telling me that you know they'd already given me eight bags of fluids and each bag was two pounds. So she goes, you're going to weigh a lot more than when you started. Don't be alarmed. It'll slowly pass as you drink regular, you know, liquids and, you know, the bloating, the more you walk and everything, it'll just kind of filter through your body and you will, you know, end up peeing it out. Today, I weigh 238 pounds even, which means that I've lost two pounds since before my surgery, since the day of my surgery. So I have probably lost... Even more than that, but because of all of the weight gain from all of the water and the fluid and the swelling and every all the trauma that my body has gone through, I've probably actually lost even more than two regular pounds. But because I was up so much from everything else, I still feel like I'm probably a little bloated. My stomach still does feel kind of tight, like, like it is swollen. So I probably do have some more fluid still in there that'll come out, you know, in the next day or two, I would imagine which means my weight's going to drop even more, even quicker. Very exciting. It's really exciting just to say, you know, I'm 238 now. Yeah, I finally broke out of the 240s. I don't know what else to say about my surgery. I mean, this was nothing like when I had lap band. And it's funny because the lap band was so much more minimally invasive. And I don't know if it's a case of surgeon to surgeon that I just had a better surgeon this time. But I feel 100% better than I did two days home than I did with the lap band being like four days home because technically I have a surgery Tuesday so you've got Tuesday morning I had it Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday morning so it's technically four days now but at day four after lap band I was hurting the pain meds I was taking were just knocking me out I like barely ever left my bed except to get up to force myself to walk around I was just a hot mess everything hurt I was just miserable. Yesterday, my first full day back, we went to Costco because I wanted to pick up my prescription for omeprazole, which is just uh, the generic name for Prilosec. And we ended up running to the Dollar Tree so that I could buy a couple of sippy cups because I found that now that I'm drinking liquids, it's I really don't like drinking out of cups. I've always been a straw girl. And I know now that you can't drink, you can't drink with straws, at least at the very beginning, or you probably shouldn't ever because you'll drink faster, you'll get air into every sip that you take, which will then make you bloated, make you hurt. So I ended up buying, bought these. I know, I, I look like a, I look so dumb drinking out of sippy cups, but I don't care, I'm at home. Nobody else can see me but my boyfriend, and he doesn't judge me. He's the one who took me to the Dollar Tree to pick him up. So, like, this is my clear liquid. This holds eight ounces, which is perfect, because I'm supposed to be getting in between each meal which is just a full liquid i'm supposed to be getting eight to ten ounces of a clear liquid so i just carry this around and sip on this and put my crystallite in it that's one thing that's a little disheartening because i wasn't a huge fan of crystallite i always watered it down like four times before i would drink it because it was always too sweet water still feels like a bag of bricks hitting my stomach so i'm doing crystallite i'm gonna try starting next week to start watering it down and seeing if Maybe my stomach will be okay with the more water than crystal light concentrate because it's just so sweet. It's just, ugh, I'm so sick of the sweet already. And then this is what I've been putting my full liquids, which are like protein shakes or milk. I've been putting into this, which is just a 10 ounce cup, uh, sippy cup. And it just gives me enough space so that I can add the protein. Um, I still mix in my magic bullet first to make sure there's no chunks. And then I just pour it into here. And it's just perfect because it's just a little bit bigger. And uh, yeah, I mean, it works out really well. I ended up buying a couple more little kid um, 
containers. Each one holds four ounces, so it's perfect because some of my full liquids that I can have are tomato soup made with milk. So I put, you know, four ounces into each of these containers, I heat up one of them, and I eat it. And I mean, yesterday I ate three ounces of my four ounces of tomato soup. I mean, I thought I was going to burst. I was so full at three ounces. And it's the craziest thing because I'm like, three ounces? I'm full? I had taken out two containers thinking I was going to eat eight ounces. I was thinking I was going to eat a whole cup. And I got three ounces down and I was like, okay, I'm done. I don't even want to push it anymore. But yesterday, being the first day that I was on real liquids, it was a little scary. I started with a carnation instant breakfast, eight ounces worth, you know, made with skim milk. And it took me two hours to drink it. And I was like forcing myself to drink it. Like I was taking these little sips because I was so timid and I was afraid to take, you know, normal size sips. And I could feel like my guts rumbling around and everything moving. And I'm sure it's just because my stomach's never worked this way before. So it didn't really know how to react because when I was at the hospital, they were having me drink 30 cc's an hour, which I've heard people say on YouTube videos, but I never processed how small 30 cc's is. Picture a medicine cup, like you know the little caps, they're like this big, and they come on the top of the medicine, and you measure out two tablespoons in it to take, like when you want NyQuil or something. Yeah, that's 30 cc's. They gave me like a ton of these little cups, put the little crystal light in it, and I was supposed to drink that in an hour, and I was like, am I, is it supposed to last an hour? Am I supposed to take little tiny sips over the course of 60 minutes? Like, am I supposed to make this into like... A, a sip every minute and just take a 60th of a 30 millimeter cup. I, was, I asked the doctor, I'm like, how long is this supposed to last? And they were like, well, you could drink, you know, three sips and be done with it. Just don't drink anything else for an hour. And I was like, oh my God. But I ended up just really small sips and I would make it last, you know, 10 to 15 sips, which now I look at it and it's kind of crazy because it was so such a small amount. It was two tablespoons, basically. Yesterday, uh, being the full first full day, I was on full liquids and clear liquids. I'm supposed to have between 24 and 30 full and 24 and 30 clear. I got about 15, I believe it was, 15 um, full liquids. And then I got whatever the amount was to equal 47. So it was like 32, I think, 32 ounces of um, clear liquids for a grand total of 47 ounces total. And I was supposed to get 48 to 60. So I figured for my first day, I was one ounce shy. I did pretty well. I'm like, I was really excited that I was able to get it all down. Yeah, I stay up a little late. You know, I woke up at like eight in the morning and I stayed up till one in the morning, but I still did it. I got in 47 ounces. So, I mean, and I, I got tons of walking around done. Like I said, I went I went out to Costco and I went up to the Dollar Tree. And yeah, driving around kind of hurt. It's holding my stomach over every bump. But I was able to just walk slow. You got in a lot of walking. I puttered around the house yesterday. I sat down probably the normal amount that I would even before surgery. But I did a lot of puttering around. My boyfriend's been such a huge help. He's, you know, helped clean the house. And take care of the dog and the cat and wash the dishes and all of that so I haven't really had to do any work which is nice but I was also able to just kind of walk around and be on my feet feeling normal which was very nice so today we'll say is day two of my days home day four post-op Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday yes day four uh post-op so already I'm down two pounds but remember I was up up a lot because of all the liquids so right now I'm down two pounds from my surgery date um, and that's about it I mean I'm gonna make a video after talking all about uh, being in the hospital and what that was like and what went into my two and a half day stay at the hospital but until then rate uh, comment subscribe like and keep watching because there will be another video to come shortly after this one bye guys